ready to fight because this is our fighting song. Tempest is our fighting song. So get ready to fight. Yeah, this is our school fighting song. It's our school fight song. Yeah, it is. So no, get ready no, to no, fight. No, no, no. We can't be fight. fighting. Fight. No, no, fight. no, 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 no. Stop. We can't be fighting. Why are you so violent all the because time? Because this is our fighting song. No, it's our school fight song. We get pumped up because, like, yeah, we're side tech, but we don't fight. We don't actually fight. Like, am I showing you that you should be fighting? I mean, the guy coming with the red, you know. Boxing. Guys, don't be spreading this out on social media and all this stuff. This does not mean fight. This means get pumped up, right? That's not what this means, Andy. You're right. Let's get it, yo. This is Tempest. This is our school fight song. Get pumped up. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of notes, but you can do it, right? Go for it. Here we go. We're going to show you all about Tempest. Let's do it. Woo! Tempest is about a storm. Tempest means storm. That's what the meaning of Tempest is, right? Storm. This entire song is about different parts of the storm coming together through musical instruments, right? So we have four parts of a storm. The first part, we have rain. And then we have wind. And then we have lightning. And we have thunder. All these parts in the song are coming together. We're going to play them for you. I want you to listen closely that you can hear all the parts because eventually you're going to have different parts of the storm and they come together to make the song Tempest. All right. First thing, we have rain. Here's what the rain sounds like in Tempest. One, two, three, four. <laughs> We've got rain. We've got, uh, let's see, next we're gonna do wind. Here's what the wind part sounds like. Here's what the wind part sounds like. You're gonna hear it, it's slurred. We'll talk about that in a little bit. It's connected. One, two, a oh, one, two, wind. <laughs> To lightning, you're gonna hear lightning strikes in the song. Zap, they're gonna zap you, right? No, Harry, no! Don't look at the light! I can't help it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> right, here's what it, here's what lightning sounds like. A one, a two, a one, two lightning strikes. Zap! beginning of the song is actually the thunder. So you're going to hear the thunder that leads to the lightning. Here's the beginning of the song. A one, two, a one, two, beginning, and... Hear that build up. parts of the storm coming together. Yeah, Tempest! So there are a few musical elements, a few things that you do not know about yet that you will need to know to play Tempest, to learn Tempest. Here are those musical elements. All right, let's talk about some different types of articulation. So articulation is how a note is played. There are a lot of different ways you can play a note. You can play a note short, you can play a note long, you could give a note some more emphasis, and we have special um, special words for describing these different types of articulation, the different ways that you would play a note. So first of all, let's just play four, um, four quarter notes without any sort of, any special kind of articulation to them. So that's just your standard note without any special articulation. Now, if we want to make that note short, super um, short and spaced, we are going to call that note staccato. And this is what it looks like. It's a little dot right below the note. And that's going to sound like this. Those are staccatos. You also have what we call tenuto, which means you're going to play the note for its full value and make the notes nice, smooth, nice and smooth and connected. So it's going to sound like this. Notice how I'm playing the notes super long and connected without any without much space between those notes. 
The last articulation we're going to talk about is an accent. An accent, it looks like this. And you're going to, um, you're going to emphasize the note or give it like a bit of a punch to it. So it sounds like this. So there you have it. Those are some different types of articulations that you'll need to know. You will need to know just standard old notes without any articulation symbols. You have staccato, which is short and separated. And you have your tenuto, which is long and connected, and accented, which is emphasized or accented, punched. So when you're articulating, you are using your tongue to interrupt the flow of air. So you want to keep your air flowing, but just use your tongue to touch the mouthpiece and interrupt that flow of air, that sound that's constantly going. So what does it mean to use my tongue? Now, guys. Check this out. If I didn't use my tongue playing, if I was if I was art articulating, trying to articulate with my air, it's going to sound like this, like I'm just using my air, fwa, 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 fwa. But if I'm using my tongue and I want to separate the notes or change the notes, articulate the notes, I can do that. But I'm just doing that with my tongue. You can do that too. It's free. Go for it. So you also need to know about slurs and ties. Slurs and ties are similar. They both have um, lines connecting the notes either under or over the notes. And what they mean is you just don't re-articulate the notes when you get to those notes. The notes are connected and you don't use your tongue to interrupt, um, interrupt the sound or interrupt the air. So for a slur, it just means that you continue playing and you don't re-articulate those notes. They're smooth and connected. So like this for the clarinet part at the beginning. Notice how I did not interrupt the sound with my tongue. It was just smooth and connected. So that's for a slur. For a tie, it just it's kind of just like tying your shoes. So the note just becomes one long note. So exam for example, if you have two whole notes, then you're going to hold that note for just eight long beats instead of four and then four beats and four beats. It's just eight beats all together. So there you have it, slurs and ties. You talking to me? Are you talking to me? Huh? Step over here if you got a problem. Yo, first of all, you're not gonna talk to me like you Wait, talk. you gotta come in the video here. First of all, everybody, you're not gonna, these gloves ain't, the first of all, is you're not gonna talk to me like that, all right? You better respect. Guys, this song is about respect. Anthony, I respect you. I respect you too, man. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, Tempest, you could do it. It's going to bring you together, right? We don't need these gloves. Nope. We fight together. 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 Bye, guys.